Alright, let's get this out of the way. Yes, it does work on Xbox. No, I have not tested it on PS4. No, I do not have a PS5 to test it on, and neither do you. And no, it is not going to make you any better at Fortnite. But at $50, this is probably one of the best looking 60% keyboards on the market if you're tired of the typical black or white keyboards that flood Amazon at this price range. We've had the GK61, we've had the DK61, we've worked our way all the way down the alphabet to the WK61 from Womir. This was sent over to me by Womir for review, so thank you Womir, and as always this is going to be an unbiased review, I've got some things to say about it, and so let's, anyway, let's continue. Inside the box you're going to get the keyboard, a manual, a USB-C cable, a keycap puller, and some extra keycaps for some extra customization out of the box. At 50 bucks, that's actually pretty cool. You've got a standard 60% layout, centered USB-C port on the back, and four rubberized feet on the bottom. Case is the same GK61 shape that we've seen a thousand times before, but the transparent blue is a nice color. The keycaps are double shot ABS pudding keycaps, and they look great for pudding keycaps. This also comes in a red and black model, and a light blue and dark blue model. I have the teal bluish here with the orange which was my favorite of the three and I think it looks really nice. Mine came out of the box with blue and white keycaps but the orange keycaps were included to swap out for a nice accent. But don't get too excited because for some reason a lot of the extra keycaps are like function row and number pad keycaps as well as arrow keys, none of which are actually on this board so it just seems like an odd choice. You do have a handful of novelty escape keys, I went with the owl which is the Womir slash XVX logo just because I like how it looked the most. The switches are linear Atemu red switches. This board is hot swap with 3 and 5 pin switches, so no optical switches here unlike the GK61 and DK61 I've reviewed in the past. The great thing about this being hot swap with 3 and 5 pin switches is you can take them out and lube them very easily, which you probably are going to want to do for this board in particular, but we'll get into that later when we talk about sound. Or if you want to, you can just swap these out with any other 3 and 5 pin switches. Aesthetically, it looks very nice. Functionally, and as far as the sound profile goes, that's where the $50 price tag starts to show its face. I mean, it works. Sure, it, it works fine. You can totally reassign keys in the software to any key that you want. You can even assign them to launch programs or execute macros. And you've also got three profiles you can use. But I would have liked to see more options for just a single profile at a time. With the 60% layout, you're going to have to use the function key and I, J, K, or L as your arrow keys. I couldn't find any way to actually change the secondary layers, so if you wanted to change the arrows to WASD, I just couldn't find a way to do that. The software is very basic looking, so I feel like I've kind of dug as much as I could into it and I just wasn't seeing anything like that. You can also adjust the lighting through various presets, adjust the color, speed, and brightness, if you're the type that doesn't like to use software, you can totally get away with plug and play here. You can just use the onboard keys to adjust all that as well. It is compatible with Windows and Mac, but there are no wireless options, so you will have to plug it in. The sound is what leaves much to be desired, in my opinion. Uh, again, I'm picky, so if you know, you're know you just buying a $50 Amazon keyboard, you'll probably be fine. But for somebody like myself, who's just a little more picky and doesn't really like hollow sounding boards, I mean, the board sounds hollow, what can I say? Typically, I don't use pudding keycaps because they just sound very hollow, and that remains true here. Luckily, if you do want to ever change the keycaps out, this is a standard 60% layout, so you can basically pick pretty much any keycap set out there, and you'll fit this board just fine. The switches are pretty scratchy and very pingy. They just don't sound very good at all, and they definitely don't feel as smooth as you would want out of a linear switch. So if you pick this up and the switches bother you, I would recommend investing in some lube brushes and a nice lube, taking the switches out and taking the time to properly lube them, so that way you'll get a bit of a better sound and feel out of typing on this board without spending much more. There's plenty of other mods you could also do to this board, but for a $50 Amazon keyboard, I'm just going to show you what you can experience out of the box for the most part.
The stabilizers are very rattly, definitely more rattly than I would have expected from one ear, but it's, you know, it can be fixed a bit. I did take these stabs out and clipped them, lubed them with some Crytox 205 grade zero, and it did help moderately, but uh, you're probably just gonna wanna swap these out altogether. These are plate mount stabilizers, so you could swap them out for some Duroc plate mounts. Those are actually pretty cheap for a full set, and they're my favorite plate mount stabs. They just always sound good. So if it sounds like I'm trashing this board, I'm definitely not. It's just that there is a lot that would need to go into it to really get the best out of it. There's a lot of potential here in the board itself. Maybe you just wanna get into the world of customizing and modding boards. You could totally buy this board and just do some modifications for a little bit more money and get a lot more out of it. But if maybe you don't care about that, maybe you're just a person who wants to just throw some money at Amazon, get a keyboard and be able to type or play games on it, that is going to work perfectly fine out of the box for gaming, for typing, 50 bucks well spent. If you do want to pick one up, I will have an affiliate link in the description from Amazon so you guys can pick one up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you again to Womir for sending this board out for review. If you are new here and you do like keyboards, make sure to subscribe because I've got just like, a, you can't even see them. There's a ton of keyboards behind me back here, just literally stacking up that I've got videos coming up for. I never know how to end a video without ending it awkwardly.